Hi guys, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Musa. Currently being uh, quarantined at five star hotel in, uh, in in the city center of Kuala Lumpur. Uh, I reached uh, KLA on the seven uh, May 2020. Landed uh, about 8:30 p.m. 8:30 p.m. Okay. We spent about two, uh, two, two and a half hours, you know, underwent the process of uh, identifying the COVID nineteen. We did a swab test there, and then we did uh, we we fill up the form, and then uh, everything, you know, until we until we check out from the immigration, and then we were divided into into few groups. Uh, together with me uh, was uh, a group of you know a group of uh, Malaysian. Malaysian are uh, working in Saudi or stay in Saudi. Some of them from Mecca, from Jeddah, from Madinah, from Damam, from Qasim, from Saudi Arabia, from uh, Riyadh, and then all other places in uh, Saudi Arabia. Uh, we took a flight at 5 a.m. in the morning on the 7, and then uh, we, we stopped over at Damam for two hours, and then we continued the journey until we reached uh, KL around 8.30 uh, p.m. Okay, to share with you about the situation at the airport, it's quite tense actually, you know, because no other people at the time, and then the shops all closed, and then no train, and then we were we were what we call that we were transported to to the main building, actually to the main building by bus, and then there, uh, in front of the immigration department, we underwent the the, the what we call it the process of identifying the COVID nineteen. Okay. Well, while waiting for the bus, we we would not inform where to be, where where will be, uh, where they will send us. You know, we just wait, um, and then we surrendered uh, one form to the security there, and then uh, we boarded the bus. Uh, before before we we before we boarded the bus, actually they 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 sanitize all of us. You know, the the luggage, the luggages, and then our body and whatnot. And then we were uh, we were uh, transported to to one of the five star hotel in the city center, and then at the hotel hotel it took uh, it took about forty five minutes you know to uh, uh, we uh, to to fill up the to to fill up the, to fulfill the process actually to fill up the form and then surrender the IC and passport so that they can uh, they can add in and they can um, they can record they can record our our details you know. And then they gave me a room key, and then uh, we were uh, we were accompanied actually uh, by the by the frontliners until we reach our rooms. And then they uh, they gave me one room, uh, nine fifteen, nine fifteen at the nine floors. And then oh, I'm happy, you know, because uh, I got at least I got a room by twelve thirty a.m. in the morning. You know, after spend about four hours, right? Four crazy hours, you know. Doing all the process and then, and then uh, while r while reaching the rooms, actually, you know, I feel uh, I feel uh, so released, you know, and then uh, I just uh, clean in my clean myself and then perform the uh, Maghrib Isha and then uh, the Taraweh, and then I noticed that the the, the room they gave me actually um, there is window, but but unfortunately there is no view. Okay, there was no view at the time, and then uh, I saw the 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 building nearby actually the wall of the building actually so in, when I wake up in the morning actually I, I I didn't see anything I didn't feel the sunshine I didn't feel anything you know I just saw the rooms I saw the next building actually it's quite tense you know it's quite 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 tough you know for I was thinking that for two weeks they will put me inside that room oh crazy man and then um, uh, I did. I did my actually. I did my own activities. You know, I created my own activities. If not, if there is no activities, you might be die standing. You, know? you might be crazy inside the room. You are alone. You, know? you are alone inside the room. You cannot go out from the door. You you will be trapped. Actually, you are trapped inside four corners of the room. You know, you have television with you. You have you have uh, jawal. You have your mobile. You have your laptop, and then you play with all those things. You know, for the fourteen days. Unfortunately, the day seven actually I can only stand until uh, up to day seven, and then I have to I have to what we call that I have to admit you know. I have to, I have to, uh, I have to share with the secretariat, the secretariat, and I have to tell uh, the truth to the secretariat. You know that I can't stand with that kind of room. 
I requested actually to be to be moved to another rooms room with view. If not, I don't know what happened to me. You know, I don't know what happened to me because you know that I got a thyroid. I got a mild thyroid. You know, if in that kind of situation you become depressed, you become you become uh, the your pressure will be will be increased at that time. You know, I don't have a blood pressure, okay, but the pressure. I mean, the pressure, the tense increase automatically. You know, so I told them about. I told them the truth. Please move me from this room. Give me the room with view by end of today. Luckily, they had my my rational. They had my problems, and then before before iftar, before um, break fasting, and that and that particular the day seven, they move, move they moved me to room. They gave me another room, room ten. They accompanied me. Actually, they accompanied me up till to to reach the room, the the tenth floor until I entered the rooms, and then they left me. You know, oh what a great you know. They gave me a very good rooms view. I can see the Park Royal Hotel. I can see the Bajaya Times Square. I can see the monorail. I can see so, I can feel the sunshine. So I enjoy that room. So I continue my own activities. Uh, the food is very good. The food is very um good actually compared to to the one that we had in Saudi. Right, we missed the the uh, the Malaysian food about for for three and a half or four months left. So we. We eat, uh, you know, we eat, we eat the food, uh, and we enjoy the food actually, you know. And the rest of the things are good. The rest of the thing are good. There is no tense unless you have a problem. You have a, you have a pressure. You have a, some sort like a, you know, you upset situation. You might feel you you will face the problem. But for me, I enjoy it. But sometimes I, I I I I encountered the what we call that the pressure. And then, but uh, since you have, I have a lot of friends, I like, talk with a friend. I have a lot of uh, WhatsApp groups, you know, communicate to WhatsApp group. I talk with my family every day, and uh, and then now actually the day, uh, the day eleven, the day twelve, you know, they took the swab test uh, uh, the day before, and then I'm waiting for the result of the swab test. The first swab test in the airport, alhamdulillah, negative. All of us. Hundred and eleven of all, uh, hundred and eleven, uh, uh, in my groups all are negative, and then now uh, the day before actually we did a swab test. Only uh, they 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 put the things uh, inside the mouth and then not inside the nose, you know, and now we are waiting for the for the for the good news and are waiting for the day uh for the date of uh, for the twenty second or maybe the twenty first of May. We are waiting for to be released from this mini prison. This mini prison, you know that I can call this is a mini prison. You cannot do anything. You cannot. Uh, you cannot go out even to the lobby. One day, you know, I talked with the secretary. That I got something left in the room nine one four. At that time, I already moved to room ten ten ten. Right? I think I want to. Uh, I want to take uh, my thing inside the room. Uh, the room nine four. And then the 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 hotel uh, officer allowed me, and and then he told me that he already informed the security. I went there, I went there after uh, after Isha about four, nine ten thirty, you know. And then I went. I actually before that I I took permission that I want to go to go there. Uh, and then he told me that okay, he already opened the room. He already opened the room. I can go. I can go there, you know. So I went there, um, you know, no, I quickly ran, uh, ran to that room and then took the lift and then and went down and went to the and took my things, and then I came to my room. I came to uh, I came back to my room and then I got a, uh, I I read a message in the in the in the WhatsApp group of the uh, of the uh, uh, people under uh, under civilians, you know, for from in our groups. And then they said one ah uh, in the CCTV and then the the inspector actually the police said I saw that one guy I saw that one guy going out from the room, and then I warned you know I warned if you do it again we will take action on you see, you cannot go anywhere see what the CCTV to monitor you all the time, the monitor the CCTV monitor is round the clock. No, this is not the first time. Actually, the warning came into the group. You know, before that, a uh, few warnings also came into the group. Also talking about that. You know, so now what? What we have to do? We have to do our own activity inside room. I ha I I do the brisk walk every morning. I do the workout. I do the the, 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 the what we call that. The, I do the uh, sit up. I wash my clothes in that room. And the one day actually before that, I don't know. I didn't know about that. There is no laundry. I just put the my my clothes inside the plastic. I put outside the room, yeah. And then I I called the the hotel. I tell it, okay, my room is ready outside. Can you can you do laundry for me? 
and then and then uh, suddenly after that uh, i received a message in the group said that, that there is no laundry service we supply you with soap inside the room you have to wash your own clothes that's it you know i wash my own clothes every day i wash my own clothes and enjoy washing you know now, under the shower actually just imagine that under the shower you wash your clothes under the shower whoa this is very very good you know and then uh, i wash the clothes and then like i tidy up my rooms you know i tidy up the bed and whatnot and then i uh, i do my I, um, I watch YouTube, you know, and then recite Quran, pray Salat and whatnot, just to fill up the time. So enjoy your quarantine. Uh, it might be tough. It might be uh, it might be a uh, pressure for some people, and also with me, I cannot I cannot uh, I cannot cheat myself. Okay? sometimes I feel pressure. But what to do? I've been I've been uh, locked down in Saudi for two and a half months. You know, it's uh, it's uh, it's rather tough than um, than here in uh, in Malaysia because now in Malaysia already near to my family is a good food Malaysian food you know, so I enjoy it. But for those who will be quarantined next, be careful. Starting from first June, they will charge that one people seven thirty seventy five ringgit per day, and the non Malaysian they will re they will charge one hundred and fifty. Alhamdulillah for our groups until now we. We, uh, we, we were informed that no charge being imposed to us. So we will enjoy our day in five star hotel. And then we will enjoy all the meals. We will enjoy the, the times. The, the balance of the time is about one or two days. So I will enjoy the, the balance of the day, you know, to the, to the, to, to the maximum, inshallah. So see you on the next uh, session in the next episodes. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye.